Hey guys, um, I'm going to be doing a quick review on uh, Mag brand mid caps and uh, P Mags. These are the Star, Star uh, and Magpul, I think it is, uh, brand, um, not the actual Magpul PTS version. Um, these are the cheaper ones. Uh, the other ones, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they're so expensive by the Magpul name, but um, uh, basically I've been using Magbrand uh, mid caps probably since I started um, using AEGs. Um, I would recommend them to anyone, basically. Uh, they are made of, made of plastic. Uh, I know a lot of people like the realism of uh, the metal ones, but I personally don't really care. Um, these are the 100 round version. Um, I think you, there's also like 130 round. Uh, there's also low caps, I believe. Mag makes some of those. Um, for the P Mag, uh, it's also made of plastic. That's kind of the whole thing in P Mag. It's supposed to be a lighter mag in the, uh, the real steel world. Um, now, this is the 30 round version. There's also, I think, a 75 round, 100, and maybe 130, 150, I don't know. Um, the P mags, you can take these off the plates. Hang on, if I can get it off. There we go. Uh, so you can put on your Ranger plates and whatnot, that kind of stuff. Uh, I do have some, uh, uh, oh, what are those called? Magpuls, wow, okay. I do have some Magpuls for uh, these standard mags, um, but I just decided to kind of ghetto rig this with some paracord. I found it to be easier. Um, uh, as for compatibility, uh, I mean, this is, a, this is a King Arms body, and they both fit in there. Little wobble with that. Little wobble with that. But, um, as for other brands, I'm not really sure. Um, my SVR is a uh, Classic Army X series uh, body, and uh, the Mag brand they'll fit in there. A little more wobble, actually, quite a bit. But the P Mags are extremely tight and absolutely zero wobble because they're so tight. Um, to get it out, you actually have to. Yank it. There we go. Anyways, um, anyway, uh, for compatibility, I mean, other than the King Arms and the Classic Army X series, I'm not really sure. Uh, so you'll probably have to do some research online if you want to find out about that. I mean, in my opinion, uh, if you want some P Mags, uh, I say go for it, or some Mag Brand uh, standard mags. I say go for it, no matter what. Uh, you can always modify these a little bit. I can always shave a little off to fit in here better um, or if they're too loose you can there's two options you can really do you can either add tape to the mag or you can also add tape to the inside of the mag well or I've heard of people using a little bit of uh, the fuzzy sided uh, velcro they stick it right there and then that uh, secures it um, so anyway I mean that pretty much wraps it up uh, they're both excellent mags I've never had feeding problems with any of them. I've probably been using this mag in particular for nine years maybe, and it's still holding strong. Uh, these I just recently got. I haven't actually uh, skirmished with them, but uh, fighting around in the backyard, target practice, um, they've worked fine. Um, if you want a more like in-depth review, uh, I have a written up review on WGC Shops website. Um, in the review section for these. I haven't done one yet on these. Um, no, actually, I should probably quick go over the markings on this. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, on top there's a little uh, bullet with 5.56 five, times 45. Um, right here it says Magpul Professional Training and Simulation Division. So. I don't know, maybe these are PTS. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, and it says for training and simulation use only, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, PMAG 30. 
Um, P Mag 30, Magpul PT. Oh, they are Magpul PTS. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm not sure what that is. That little Magpul logo on top. There's a 30 right there. Uh, I believe that's just indicating how many rounds it can hold. There's also the 100, 130 round. Blah blah blah. Um. Anyway, this is the FD version. You can also get them in uh, Ranger Green, um, Black, Dan, which is this. Um, anyway, both mags I recommend. Uh, I say if you want to get them, go for it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, subscribe, you name it, whatever, do it. Uh, I'm also available on Twitter and uh, Blogspot now, so if you guys want to check me out there, um, subscribe to those things, uh, that would help me out. Thanks.